chicken bar. Chicken Turn around. Bar? Chicken bar? Yeah. Chicken bar. It is a yeah. Chicken bar. Hey, funny. What are you doing? What are you doing in there? You like sleeping in there? <laughs> it's funny when he climbs in. Hey buddy. What are you doing there? So I've been having these really strange dreams. Consistent uh, for the past week. Um it's it goes as such. Uh, I'm walking down uh, a desolate road and it feels like forever um, when I come across the nearest town. Once I finally have made contact with uh, the town itself and all its town folks, I try to communicate with them and to find directions and try to get my bearings. But for some reason, they weren't responding to me. Or When they would look at me, they would almost look through me and not really acknowledge that I was really there. And so I would do all that I can to try to get their attention, even kind of, you know, waving my hand across their face to see if I can even offend them in some way. You know, uh, in some way. And it just got me thinking, you know, what if I was an, um, a disembodied entity? What if I was a ghost? <laughs> This is a really, I don't know how I got to talking about this. Uh, oh, my dream. And it made me, uh, and it, it got me thinking about what I would do if I realized that I was a ghost. And this is what I came up with. Uh, uh, this, if I was a ghost, once I start getting hints that I was a disembodied entity, uh, first of all, I would try to do all that I can to try to get people's attention to make sure that you know, my conclusions and my hypotheses uh, were true. And then once I have finally accepted that I am a ghost, I am a specter, uh, I would probably be a type of ghost that would, unfortunately, um, I would haunt a few folks. <laughs> Not because like I died a horrible death and I wanted people to know like, hey, I died a horrible death or, you know, but just the fact I, I love scaring people. <laughs> I love to be scared and I, I love scaring people, not to the point where they have a heart attack or piss themselves or <laughs> themselves, but just as a, a mild entertainment, I do like scaring people. I, I, I. I have an enjoyment of it. If I wasn't doing what I was doing now, I'd probably be like a monster at some Halloween festival that's like year round or something. And after my fun is over, uh, I, I would eventually go and proceed into helping people. Regardless of me, me trying to scare people, I, I do enjoy helping people. You know, there are people who are in need of help and, and such, and if they're willing to accept the help, then, then I would regardless of how I could do it in a spectral body. Oh wow, I could actually do it. That's impressive. <laughs> you best to keep me on your mind but I know all the things 
ending this one with a weird thought for the day. Thoughts. What is invisible, but you'd wish people could see? And in one sentence, how would you sum up the internet? All right, ladies and gents, that about does it for this video. If you like this episode, please let me know by clicking that like button. If you got any thoughts, questions, or comments, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. Now, as always, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Julius. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, as well as that notification bell for my future videos. And if you'd like to further support this channel, go ahead and click that link on the bottom right-hand side of this banner. I'll see you all in the next one. Latest.